Hello! This tutorial is designed to illustrate how to record a lesson or a lecture using Loom and how to link it to Classroom. You can access Loom by adding it as a Chrome extension. If you don't have it added as an extension, you can find Loom in the Chrome Store. To open Loom, click on the icon at the top of your screen. There are three ways to record your lessons. Uh, you can share your screen and yourself, as I am doing right now. Um, you can just share your screen and just have your voice only. Or you can use the camera only, so there would be no screen recording on it, just yourself. And that would be something that you would do if you were trying to record yourself in front of a classroom or teaching using a whiteboard or smart board. For this purposes, I think I will go to screen only. And we will start recording. Um, you have to choose your entire screen before you begin sharing. And once you start, it will count you down. Okay, so once you have begun your, um, your recording, some of the things you might want to modify is um, if you're only sharing your voice, you can get rid of your icon here. Um, and um, you can also then look at some of the different tools at the bottom, okay, your camera settings and the menu if you would like to hide that. Um, Loom, um, what I have on this video here is just a quick um, video of the setup of what you might your classroom might look like if you were just trying to record a lecture or a lesson using a whiteboard or smart board. So I will play that. Here I've got Loom set up on my um, laptop facing uh, the board. In the shot of my Loom I've got the entire whiteboard or smart board plus my stuff. Okay so I can be addressing the online students or doing my lecture by looking it's about seven to eight feet away and the shot is set up just like that okay so that kind of shows you what the classroom may look like um, if you're just trying to get um, a feeling of being in uh, you know giving a lecture um, as your as your um, as your lesson so when you're finished recording you will click finish recording And the first thing that I do um, when I finish a recording is rename it. Um, so what we're going to rename this is um, Loom Tutorial. Okay. And then you can um, trim it. So if you want to take off the beginning part of your recording, say you're messing with the tools or trying to format it the way you want it, or the end, um, of the recording so that it doesn't show you, um, you know, fumbling around with the with the computer. You can trim those pieces off, um, and then you know that that way it's gone. One of the things that um, I do is copy the link after I'm done with the trim, and then you can simply paste it into your classroom. So I will paste it in my virtual learning resources. Um, I'm going to create a post on material. I'll call it Loom uh, Tutorial. I'm going to add it as a link and paste it. And once that gets pasted in, I can post it or schedule it however, whenever I want it. And that is done. Okay, all of your recordings will be saved in Loom, so you can always go back and find them. I hope this helps you get started with recording your lessons. Uh, Loom is a great tool, and um, I hope that you all find it as easy to use as I do. Thanks.